Earlier in this part of the course, we looked at how we could quickly access a slide in the middle of a lesson if we quickly wanted to go to it by pressing the G key on our keyboard and that would show the slide sorter so we could see all of the slides and we could navigate visually to the particular slide we wanted to. And within that, you remember that I also showed you on the left hand side that there are sections and you can name your sections that makes it much easier to navigate to a particular slide within a particular section you're looking for. So how do we do that? Let's have a look at that in this particular video. Now, remember I said that I like to make a whole stack of cards, a whole deck of slides, uh, so that I've got all my content in the same deck. Well, you can see down here that I've got 214 slides. You can just see down there. And and in fact, truth be told, I haven't even finished with this particular one. Now, please do not think for a moment that my teaching is just death by a PowerPoint. It is absolutely not. And you can see uh, but on the left hand side there that actually there's a limited amount of content that's on my slides. We're going to go into much, much more detail about how we use the slides in terms of content and images, etc. But let's have a look at how we make those sections. The first thing we're going to do is going to take you into slide sorter up here. So we're going to click on this one. And you can see now, my goodness, there's loads of slides. If I scroll down, there's so much going on. Uh, it makes sense to me at this point. However, there are no sections. And so that's what I want to do now. I want to give this a little bit more order so that I'm able to access slides that I want quickly. So in order to do that, we simply select a slide here, Social Cultural Factors Pre-Industrial Britain, I select that and then I'm going to right click on the mouse and you get a little drop down and you can see there it says add section. So click add section and I've got to give that a title and then it gives me the window here to do that. So I'm going to call this pre-industrial Britain and rename. And then you can see here that that is called pre-industrial Britain. I can go along this slides I'm happy with although I might want to change some of that in a little while in terms of the order. Here we are, post-1850 Britain. So again, select that, right click, add section. And again, there's the pop-up window, post-1850 Industrial Britain. And again, I hit rename. And you can see now that I've got another section. Let's just do one more just to make sure that we're happy with this. Um, let's go for women in 20th century Britain. So I select that. So I need to come out of all those that are selected. Select that one. Right click. Add section from the drop down. Pop up window. We're calling it women in 20th century Britain. Oops, can't spell and rename. OK, so we've got a number of sections now. And by default, what I can do is I can close those down a little bit, make them bigger. I can see I've got eight slides there, I've got 16 slides there. Close that down. That's obviously not 189 slides of women in, in the 20th century. But each of those sections you want to make, there would be another one there. Education, 21st century and then law and order and availability of time, etc. Inferences of the public schools. This is all part of my specification. So you can just make those sections, make them collapsible, etc. Make them easy to access. Now, let's go back to what we did in that first video where we can easily access those by pressing G when we're in slideshow mode. So I'm going to go to normal first of all. I'm going to go to slideshow here down at the bottom, click the icon and I'm going to go to G and now we can see that those sections are there. So if I want to quickly go to post 1850 Industrial Britain, I click on that and that's the first slide there. There's more above, but that's the one that it takes me to immediately. Let's go back to women in 20th century. There it is, pre-industrial Britain, straight up there. So again, really, really easy way to navigate. If I want to go to a slide here about exam technique and types of things that they're likely to be are questioned on and how they might be questioned. This is perfect. It's really great for me to quickly navigate to it and I don't have to faff around about coming about coming out of the slideshow and finding it that way. So that is how you can quickly and easily make those section titles to help you find the content that you're looking for on the fly.